Mr. Noodles. I am here with a Derna, a random sneeze snake I found in the ocean, and a random head attached to a hatchet. Okay. <sighs> Draining report. Restraining order. <laughs> a restraining order on Bright. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thou shalt not enter voice calls with me in the. <laughs> or in my <laughs> server. Yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, if you look at stream chat, I posted a picture of the SP we're talking about. Like, uh. The thing in the recording live streams, PC? Yeah. Come on, Discord. Discord. <laughs> you okay, Hatchet? Oh, Father Prime. Yeah, anyway. Might as well just go ahead and read it. And Wait, it, is that 2032? Yeah, yeah, 2032. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be Just clipped. Dead. I Just love that. <laughs> dead silence. And then. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sure. Also, I forgot to say my opening words. Um, tomorrow, starting from noon till midnight, is my best of 2022 apology video because I'm still working on FSO Paul apology. Uh, not best of 2022. So if you would like to see it, it'll be premiered on YouTube. And I'll be there the entire time chatting and all that. Mm. So yeah. We now let's get into the SCP stuff. I have to make sure to smuggle the penguin in so that they can actually finally hear my uh, the changeling story. <laughs> anyway, SCP twenty thirty two, also known as Father Time. SCP-2032 appears to be an elderly man of Middle Eastern origin. His true age and ancestry are not currently kn known, although plausible records would indicate connection to the redacted uh, uh, so Caliphate circa redacted CE. Although SCP-2032 has an apparent inhuman long longevity, his physical and mental health are estimated to have begun deteriorating with a several decades prior to co to coming into Foundation custody. Wait a minute. Haven't we already placed this? No, we haven't, because remember the string crashed? Oh, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because Streamlabs went <laughs> down. <laughs> then yeah, go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. It's fine. SCP-2032 is currently receiving daily treatment for moderate Alzheimer's and mild dementia, along with physical therapy for arthritis. SCP-2032 is now under, also undergoing speech therapy following a stroke. This poor old man. <laughs> this the... is the life that never ends. <laughs> The main anomalous quality of SP-2032 is that his memory directly affects the general public's historical recollection. As SP-2032's memory begins to fade, numerous branching opinions on historical events consisting of conflicted accounts or other inaccurate information appear. This loss goes so far as to directly alter historical texts as well. SP-2032 has written several journals to keep his memory accurate. There is a theorized safe sound from the reality altering effects of SCP 2032's memory for any documents or persons within three meters of him. Additionally, as time passes and the event becomes less current, it is considered to have reached SCP 2032's long term memory in which the public may not be informed, but scholars and 
and historians are. When information passes from this stage of memorization, is it is considered lost. Following the discovery of the safe zone within SCP-2032's presence, newspapers and other information are placed in a containment cell until they can more appropriately until they can be more appropriately archived. A team of foundation archivists now works daily to write down SCP-2032's recollections, starting with the farthest memories. The journals in which these events are kept are locked in a safe as inside SP-2032 cell to prevent the loss of this information. The general global opinion and knowledge of recent world events re creates new memories for SP-2032. These recollections have been described to researchers as hazy at best, requiring outside information for accurate, accurate clarity. While an event is happening yet not understood, mostly being specula speculation, or rumors, SC-2032 likens it to recalling a dream. SB 2032 will gradually gain more clarity around this event, causing knowledge to become public. Despite the impact on his mental health, SB 2032's knowledge of an event is not what causes the public reaction, as more cultural factors affect the private understanding collective areas have of an event, the psychological reaction on SB 2032 becomes apparent. SCP-2032 is on a daily regimen of medication to ward off the ongoing symptoms of his mental deterioration. At the current rate of deterioration, it is predicted that in redacted years, all written history prior to 685 CE will be lost. Ongoing research is currently underway on how to slow this degradation and, if possible, reverse it. Requests to utilize SP-500 have been denied due to the likelihood of reversing the amnestics used to remove traumatic events from SP-2032's memory. In the time following his stroke, numerous protests and conspiracy theory theories became widely spread among the public until SP-2032's condition stabilized. The hypothetical effects of, of any further potential damage to SCP-2032's memory could lead to a theoretical CY-class global government destabilization scenario, including a loss of all written, written and remembered accounts of human history. Despite the con continual deterioration of its mental state, SCP-2032 does not seem to age on a cellular level through DNA testing. It has been confirmed that SCP-2032 does not suffer from telomere shortening and has not visibly aged in the decades since his initial containment. It has been pr proven theoretically uh, probable that SCP-2032 has reached the oldest biological age already and will not continue to age further. It has been discovered manipulating the memory of SCP-2032 will alter the knowledge of events for the public, but cannot alter the actual series of events. All facts are changed to what SP-2032 remembered. Anything that happened to contradict these facts, still haven't yet, cannot be acknowledged by humans. Following critical containment failures, SP-2032 is given selective amnestics and implanted with false memories to skew the public re recollection of events. All 05 order of historical alterations are written with a pub copy of documentation of the original events locked in a safe kept in SB-2032's vicinity. In case it is ever deemed appropriate to revert the changes, any staff personnel found to implant false information into SB-2032's mind will be interrogated as to the purpose of their alteration and subsequently terminated. Let's see. Sorry, my phone is still loading. That, that's uh, okay. Uh, the log of SV 2332's initial interview follows. Interviewed, redacted, henceforth SV 2032. Interviewer, Dr. Lucan. For a word, subject contained 
uh, all right, subject contacted Foundation personnel claiming to be an anomaly. After asking redacted authorities for protection, after considerable testing to verify his claims, interview was approved. Dr. Lucan, Mr. Redacted, if you can recall, how and when did your abilities initially manifest? 2032. Abilities, eh, the memories, the memories were always perfect. Always all records matched what I recalled. The Caliph, Redacted, asked me personally to be his historian. Bastard could not remember which wife formed his bed each night. This was long ago, yes. I don't know the date. He never... I do not remember it. Still my mind is strong and will remain strong. And Shala. I was overjoyed, yes. I could have anything in the East I desired. I could say anything I wished. Bastard Caliph would not even know. But I was honest all throughout. Dr. Lucan, please focus on the details pertaining to your abilities. 2032. I cannot remember my birth. What man can? At some point, the memories begin to stick and you cannot forget. A man comes to your house, demands tribute, and your father refuses. He beats him with a stick. Your father complains to the sheriff, and the bastard does nothing. No one cares about these things, but still you remember them more clearly than you remember important things. At some point, the memories always stick. Dr. Lucan, and what made you desire to contact the Foundation? 2032. Bastard men. Snakes, a lot of them. Sharply dressed and clean shaven, they came to me one day. They asked me to work for them. I refused politely, of course. And they tripled their offer, as if money the money was all that mattered. I noticed them following me for days after. Sometimes one man, sometimes many, sticking to me like shadows. Dr. Lucan, so you came to the Foundation of Press Asylum? 2032. God willing, yes, I can think of worse fates. Initial log of test to determine the scope of SCP-2032's abilities follow. Test. SCP-2032 is, is asked at length about several historical battles he claims to have participated in. Effects. All information provided proves to be accurate without exception, even so far as the position of the constellations during the night. Remarks. While SP-2032 may struggle to recall these details, he is exceedingly correct. His physical condition and accounts of the battles are deemed enough to verify his claims. SCP test. SCP-2032 is given selective anesthetics to test the scope of his ability to alter the recollect recollection of events and other uh, and others possess. Uh, effects. All personnel who are not in the testing room forgot the events in question. Remarks. SCP-2032's abilities are confirmed to have a limited safe zone. Test. SCP-2032 is given a minor selective amnestic to forget the Battle of Redacted. Effects. All documents portraying the events of the battle, save for those contained in a safe immediately near SCP-2032, are in their blank. Historians questioned about the battle claim no such skirmish ever happened, matching those details. Remarks. SP-2032's memory appears to be a direct master copy of history. Whenever he forgets something, it is effectively erased. And there you go. The two was that. Um, I'd say world-changing. Like, this guy forgetting everything won't destroy all of humanity, but it will alter all of humanity going forward. Alright. <laughs> I just see Bookrun's message. I, I just realized it's very appropriate for today that Father Time is being talked about. Maybe that's why the tech issues happened, lol. Alright. Uh, 
so everyone thinking world changing yeah and happy new year everybody oh is it already 12 yeah. o'clock what bright is technically not but we're really close to it and i'll oh. i'll forget otherwise fair also, this is the best picture I can get for this next SCP, so, um, you might not like what it looks like. Oh! Why is this so funny? <laughs> she gives the crazy eyes. Yeah. All right. Everyone ready for next one? Sure. Yeah. All right. SCP-2034. Tucson's Delusion. SCP-2034. Huh? Uh... Am I spelling out the name or yeah. oh hey child? Uh sure. It is T U S S A U D and posh for yes. I think that's Madame Tuso. Oh. What was that? Patrick, what was that? You it was hard to hear what you said. Sorry, my dad came in. Um uh, I think that's Madame Tussauds. So that's pronounced. Uh, Tussaud, Tussauds Tussaud. delusion. Yeah. All right. SCP-2034 is a phenomenon in which a number of individuals cease to be perceived as living beings by digital media such as photographs and video recordings. Affected individuals are instead depicted as an inanimate object, puppet, or dummy. To be labeled SCP-2034-A, it is unknown whether SCP-2034's effects are sensory or mimetic, as instances of SCP-2034-A are not identified by sight alone. It is unknown when SCP-2034 was first discovered as redacted, previously unrelated, or misappropriated occurrences have been ascribed to SCP-2034 after the fact. The first live instances of SCP-2034-A confirmed took place on redacted, when security footage of a hall at site redacted, depicted an animated mannequin moving jerkily across the frame. The time and location indicated Dr. Redacted Blair to have been pass passing through the, the hall at this time. Dr. Blair apparently had no knowledge of SP-2034's effects. Right. Further instances of SP-2034-A began to come to the attention of the Foundation, either as they were discovered or ascribed after the fact predominantly involving celebrities and or public officials. Additionally, instances of SP-2034-A continue to be positively identified through photographs and video recordings, including footage dated as far back as 1900. Incident 34-1 at, at some point between redacted and redacted, actor redacted, redacted who had previously positively Confirmed as an instance of SCP-2034-A, ceased to display the effects of SCP-2034. All photo slash video footage of the actor depicted a non-anomalous redacted. Redacted were previously the image of a ventricul ventriculist dummy was identified. An interview conducted with Mr. Redacted yielding nothing anomalous either to individuals on the scene or in security footage taken during the interview. 
following the incident, previously confirmed instances of SV 2034-A were reviewed again by Foundation personnel. Of the reviewed photographs and video footage, 45% no longer displayed the effects of SCP-2034. Additionally, new instances of SV-2034-A were discovered in previously disqualified footage. Due to the lack of information regarding SV-2034's effects, it is unknown if individuals previously affected can be affected once again, or if certain individuals' effects are permanent. As such, a listing of confirmed instances of SCP-2034-A is restricted to personnel assigned to SCP-2034 only. Addendum. After redacted years of monitoring, a rough timeline of SCP-2034's effects have been established. Of those observed, all but one have experienced a cessation of scp 2034s effects over a period of four to redacted years. The sole remaining case is that of British actress uh, Tobritza Pemberton. Those works continue Spell to... Spell that? Uh, T-O-B-R-I-T-Z-A. Hi, Chu. Yeah. Anyway. Whose works continue to display the effects of SV-2034. MTF Epsilon 89 began to notice a sharp increase in online searches for uh, Pemberton, Toby Pemberton Wooden, and Vintage Dummy Actress, as well as torrents of Miss Pemberton's surviving films, all displaying the effects of SV-2034. Due to the lack of change in the anomaly, the Foundation launched a concerted effort to seize all surviving physical copies of Miss Pemberton's films and suppress all information of Pemberton. Beginning on Redacted, Foundation agents began to infiltrate British governmental agencies to remove all records and references. Uh, uh, yeah, it to uh, Pemberton. Other records were altered to remove or otherwise reappropriate references to Pemberton to female ancestors of picked Foundation agents. Surviving friends and family members were administered varying classes of amnestics, removing all memories of Miss Pemberton's occupation. Family photo albums and home videos were briefly confiscated to allow for uh, man manipulated duplicates to replace the originals. Attempts to track and delete digital copies of Miss Pemberton's films were generally ineffective, necess necessitating action to discredit the supposed authenticity of the films still in circulation. Foundation agents have taken over seeding turns of the films under new titles and including fictitious introductory credits attributing the voices of Miss Pemberton's characters to lesser known voice actresses. As of 2014, the number of turns bearing the fictitious names outnumbered the original turns by redacted percent. And that's it. I would say this goes in either reclassify spood or what the fuck. Yeah, this just turns you into a puppet in video and photograph. It doesn't really yeah, hurt like it, you. It, it doesn't affect you, you anything. You say that, you know. but technically, doesn't it hurt your career? I mean, it could, but like, it, it like. On the scale of things an SCP could do to you, damaging your acting career is probably, like, basically the stubbed toe. That's in the fair. List of things. That's also, fair. If you think... Also, if you think about it, though, aren't you, by technicality, just becoming what you already are? Just, like, in a no. little sense, though. No. Well, if you're an actor... If you're like an actor, one? you're not a puppet. You're not an object. Yeah, yeah you're not an object. 
Yeah. <laughs> also, I want to say, just have because you... you're a celebrity doesn't mean you're an object, and suggesting that much have is kind seen... of rude. Have you seen how they treat celebrities? I'm, I'm more yeah. talking about how they treat a lot of people treat celebrities, not well, like actors. Yeah, that's probably what uh, inspired the the SCP, but that doesn't mean they're objects. I, I also love Chu's message. Yeah. In all caps, my toe, my feet. After uh, Hatcher <laughs> brought <up> stump toe. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Wait, maybe that's why Chu doesn't come on to. Uh, does doesn't show their face? It's because they're under the effect of this SCP, and don't want <laughs> doesn't want to be outed as being under the effect of this SCP. Does that I've... mean he he looks like a plush to all of us? Probably. Okay. Momo, to summarize what this SCP does, basically it chooses a Hollywood actor or actresses or whatever and just basically makes them on pictures and videos and movies and all that stuff. It makes them look like either a puppet or a mannequin. It doesn't even actually choose Hollywood actresses. It's just that this, like, the most notable case was of yeah. an old British actress. Like, yeah. it's just completely random. Yeah, it's mainly random. Yeah, it's just random. That's what it does. That's what it does, Momo. For like, what was it? Four to redacted years? Four to redacted years. Yeah, there was a lot of redacted that just was annoying. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, there was... were so many redacted, it felt like it was harder to write it with all those redacteds than yeah. it was without it. Like, what's the... <laughs> why? What? Like, what's... what's Yeah, I think this this... Uh, SCP definitely suffers from over-redaction. They honestly probably do that because it uh, pertains to celebrities. They don't want people to try to guess which celebrities are affected. Maybe. Mm. But yeah. uh, that, that, nah, that, I don't think that tracks because like only like the last bit was about a celebrity and said oh. celebrities a much older celebrity oh no it pre predominantly involving celebrities and or public officials so it mainly oh, okay. goes after those people oh okay i guess i had mis misread it or misheard that part so yeah no it definitely goes after celebrities and public officials <laughs> Wait, I just I I just imagined it going after Ronald Reagan. Uh, Ronald go Reagan's to... dead. Hey, it goes yeah, into the past. Probably, it goes all the way to nineteen hundreds. Probably dead as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I did you I did you see the picture and did you see the picture and uh, recording slash live streams? Uh, my internet's mm -hmm. being really fucking shit. Yeah. Oh, bright. Pick a color. Pick a color. Uh, yeah. yellow. Are you sure? Yellow. Why are you saying are you sure? Okay, I guess I'll go with green. Well, whichever color you pick. Just make it's... sure you like it. Okay, I guess I'll go with green. Oh, Jesus Christ! Are you okay? Someone fired a firework. <laughs> yep. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Just all of a sudden out of here, pow! Right. I'd like to say this nicely. You now live next to a military base. Why would there not be fireworks around the new year? Right. Can you actually hear it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, oh. Okay. What? So, I, I, what? Where we should we put this? What the fuck or spoot deer? Spoot. Make a make spoot famous so that spoot can be a puppet. What the fuck? What You're the not fuck? Turning my sibling into a puppet, you weird fucking child. 
<laughs> okay, wait. Okay, I, before before we go on to the next SCP, uh, I, I I want I want to say something. No. Okay? It's oh, it's horror contact in a horror contact. Also, bright. I am drawing a chainsaw emoji for your server. Nice. Yippee! I figured I wanted to do things for it, so I made a snake head heart thing for the serpent's hand thing. Yeah. I did a red one and a green one, and I am now doing your chainsaw. Yes. Oh no! If it oh no! If it if it if it was yellow, would it come out looking like a piss chainsaw? She oh, said God. the green <laughs> after I asked. Are you sure? So it's gonna be green. Oh well, yeah, I know, but I. I, I know, but I mean, like, hypothetically. So it's... It it's would not like have looked color. like a piss chainsaw, but it would have not looked the best. I do not like the color of, like, yellow chainsaws. Piss chainsaws. Yippee. I'm hoping fireworks aren't going through stream. <laughs> uh, One of sure. the most... I definitely can't hear those fireworks. Ah. I I occasionally hear some of it. Just like boom. It's a loud <laughs> popping sound. Yep. Um. The movie Nope is really fucking good. It's okay. a really good movie. That's why I'm late. I I was finishing watching the movie. It's really good. Okay. Going to the next SCP now. Yeah, I... yeah. Anyway, I sent the picture in a stream planning. What the? Uh, I mean, not stream planning. Recording VCs thing. Yeah. Anyway, the next SCP is SCP twenty forty three, or is or its nickname in all caps. Remember me. No. Shut up, child. Right. SCP-2043 is a 19-year-old Caucasian female bearing resemblance to a former missing person, Ariella Redacted. When an individual observing the subject looks away, SCP-2043 will create physical duplicates of themselves within the individual's line of sight. Each new instance will additionally begin to duplicate in turn at the rate of 20 to 30 seconds per duplica duplication. Duplicate instances of SCP-2043 are physical, uh, physically and genetically identical to the original. The effect is increased exponentially with the addition of more viewers, although a fixed number of viewers can minimize chances of duplication by maintaining overlapping lines of sight. Oh, did we lose Hatchet? Mm -hmm. Uh... Will Hatchet be back? Ah, Hatch is back. The Hatchet's back the very next day. The Hatchet's back. We thought he was a gunner. I guess I'll go back to read, reading then. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Anyway. I missed all of that because my, uh, my, my Discord crashed. All right. All right, I'll reread re it then. SCP-2043 is a 19-year-old Caucasian female bearing resemblance to a former missing person, Ariella. Redacted. When an individual observing the subject looks away, SCP-2043 will create physical duplicates of themselves within the individual's line of sight. 
Each new instance will additionally begin to duplicate in turn at the rate of 20 to 30 seconds per duplication. Duplicate instances of SP2043 are physically and genetically identical to the original. The effect is increased exponentially with the addition of more viewers, although a fixed number of viewers can minimize chances of duplication by maintaining overlapping lines of sight. SCB-2043 is generally unresponsive to external stimuli, remaining non-responsive to all attempts at communication, as well as most attempts at physical contact. SCB-2043's awareness by physical contact appears to be uniform amongst all duplicated instances, which may result in mass panic among SCB-2043 instances and the potential for uncontrolled duplication depending on SCB-2043 instances' mobility. Attempts at teaching SCB-2043 CP-2043 to communicate via touch have yielded, yielded little success. Note 19-A3 Ariello redacted went missing from redacted on redacted at age 7 before being discovered 10 years later in the cellar of a neighbor. Further details are unavailable due to an ongoing investigation. SCP-2043 was discovered 9 years following the disappearance 70 kilometers away when police were, were called by an individual who claimed to have discovered Ariella redacted in her cellar. It is unknown if SCP-2043's effects were evident to the individual. The presence of multiple officers triggering, triggered the apparition of several hundred instances of SCP-2043, which led to an incident in which shots were fired and multiple instances of SCP-2043 were killed. Foundation personnel were alerted to the situation 18 hours later, necess necessitating a temporary quarantine of the town of Redacted and a mass administration of Class B anesthetics to infected individuals. Following the event and a thorough investigation, it was noted that SP-2043 bore a strong resemblance to age-progressed photographs of Ariella Redacted. A potential link to the disappearance led to a renewed investigation leading to the individual's recovery. A separate parallel investigation by Foundation agents embedded and redacted found that Ariella redacted had no knowledge of SCP-2043, nor the individual responsible for discovering SCP-2043. Miss Redacted was also noted to look substantially different from her age progressed photo. Further details are classified pending an ongoing investigation. There you go. Fuck. That's... Why does that exist? It's just a duplicating girl. It's, it's not just a duplicating girl. It's a duplicating copy of a girl who doesn't know why it exists. Yeah. This is, uh, what the fuck? Did they say the girl's name? They, they didn't say the last name. The, yeah. They, they only said the last name? No, no, they didn't say the last name. They only said the first name. Last name would have been worse. Ariella. Aw, oh, damn. Because I was thinking, wait, is this like, is this supposed to be inspired about, uh, inspired yeah, by the dolly well, sheep? this inspired by a real girl is probably why they didn't put a last name. No, I said dolly the sheep because the, the people keep, or kept, like, well, people clone the sheep. I would like to say it that doesn't sound likely to be based off of it, especially since that was a murder victim. Yeah. Only the sheep. What? The, the... the fuck are y'all talking about? Okay. Apparently, this SCP is not just the girl. Addendum 3 on Redacted. The bodies of two identical twin boys were discovered and redacted. A, a bearing gunshot wounds at close range discovered on the scene was a missing persons poster of child Lee Redacted. Containing an age progress photo depicting Lee as a teenager. 
As with SCP-2043, both deceased individuals bore a strong resemblance to the Age Progress photo. While Lee Redacted has yet to be found, a potential link to SCP-2043 cannot be conclusively established. So it does anyone who's missing, or the possibility of anyone who's missing. Which is fucked. So it's not just Ariel, it's also Lee. I, I, I just say what I mean, it doesn't show a sign of danger. The the biggest danger in my mind of this thing would not have. And that would be in the event of it duplicating and duplicating and duplicating until literally the like an entire city center or something is filled to the brim mm -hmm. with these people and even then like you can literally just like move like like you can still like get like move them away yeah or as was described shoot them yeah <laughs> cops like, immediately start shooting <laughs> Which I still think that's like the funniest thing in all of this. The fact that the cop's first reaction to duplicating girl was gunfire. Gun <laughs> yeah. But like that doesn't seem too far off, honestly though. Yeah. What type of green would you like? Um light green, I guess. Okay. Uh, and Right, please be specific. Do you want eye blinding uh, light green or like, you know, the pleasant looking light green? I don't, I don't know. I'll leave that. Like you. I said, okay. Oh no. I got it. Light oh, green. No. Yeah. Anyway. Penguin, I don't choose blinding colors. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, uh, thank fuck. You're not evil. Momo said, what the fuck? It's like the Keter classes, but it's people, which. It is actually much worse, but it can't really be contained, so I see why it's Keter. I mean, it sounds a bit they have it contained. Well, they didn't have Lee contained. They only found the dead bodies. Oh, yeah, but... They don't technically have it contained since they don't know what causes it or why it exists. All that we know they is that it instances. deals with missing children. <laughs> For some reason, out of everything. Yeah. So it should be like a certain group, because like missing children is a certain group. Uh, I don't even know if it's a danger to missing children. I wouldn't say danger to missing children, like it affects them. That's that's fair. I mean, I feel like whoever made the children missing are more dangerous to the missing children than, the, than to the SCP. Wait, the SCP just makes them be able to terrify the kidnappers. <laughs> just all of a sudden, they go in the basement, and there's like just 50 of the same child staring at them. That sounds actually very terrifying. <laughs> I would immediately let hey, go of hey. a child if they started duplicating. If look, it, look, all I'm saying is it's the consequences of your actions. You want to do some dumb illegal shit, you're going to have to get the consequences. So, where are we are, putting this? Are you this? saying the consequences of illegally taking children is duplication nightmare? <laughs> anyway, so what where are we... Illegally taking children. Anyway, so... Why did you phrase it like that? <laughs> anyway. Well, that's what it is. So, where are we putting this SCP I again? I uh, I can I, I can see why it goes in certain groups because it affects missing children basically, but I can also see why it's put in what the yeah. fuck because it doesn't really do any dangerous things. I feel like it belongs in what the fuck because it doesn't endanger anyone, but it's it's so weird. Yeah, I would say what the fuck too. Worst case scenario would be fucking send hundreds of thousands of these duplicated creature people to, to a firing mm -hmm. squad. That's about it. Wait, Bookworm, I had you, you might notice, but Bookworm says, makes me think of the telltale heart, but the duplicating child. 
Null. I, I mean, I know Telltale Heart, but I feel like that's based upon some context I'm missing because my Discord crashed. Ah. Moe says, it's the creepiest, saddest shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I just realized how fucked it would be to give the child back to their parents. All of a sudden, they just turn around and there's another one. Oh. That would be terrifying. <laughs> oh. That was... I mean, it's not the saddest SCP I've, I've read. There, there are a lot sadder ones. Like, um... The... The Water Lady. That one, yeah. The, the wooden chair. Mm -hmm. Man, that poor gonna... chair. Yeah, I was just gonna say the chair. I don't know about the water. Or a Scarlet King's wife. Oh, that's oh, the the water lady yeah. was uh, the water lady was tortured by the SCP Foundation. Yeah, specifically, men. It made her actually have a phobia of men in general. Uh, yeah. Before then, she was literally just a water woman that was hanging out with a kid and doing good things. She was benign. Oh, which is why she's a lesbian. Wait, what? What, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what did I do back to? Talking about the water lady. She is technically not someone who likes men, so it would make sense if she was a lesbian, but I'm not sure why we went there. <laughs> also just the ace. I don't know who we're talking about. She is a woman made out of water. Mm -hmm. The SCP Foundation tortured her. Oh, oh. what? We're we're talking SCPs. Yeah. Penguin. Oh, I'm Keep confused. Up. Look, I got up. Okay, I grabbed some chocolate and I grabbed my fake uh, champagne. Okay, I, that's why I, I was. I don't. <laughs> I turned back at a very inconvenient time. Yeah, Bright, when were you planning on ending stream? At 2 a.m. Oh, yeah, plus now this means that you don't need to worry about disturbing anyone. Yeah. You can be oh, as yeah, loud and obnoxious. Not there, huh? Yeah, you can be as loud and obnoxious as you want most of the time. And the only one who's going to complain to you is your dog. <laughs> All of a sudden, you just hear barking dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, the dog sprint in the room and no, the right? dog sprint in the room they, and they're like shooting. They, yeah. uh, the, the dog sh sprints into the room and starts cursing you out. Right. What? They're fucking shit. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing in here? <laughs> Did you see the time? <laughs> Go the fuck to sleep. The dog's New Year's revolution. Dogs. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, next SCP. Oh. Dragon? The dogs, uh, Bright, your dog's last year, uh, New Year's revolution was to learn English. And so the last hour of 2022, just the dog's going to stare you down, speak a perfect line sentence in English, and never speak English again. Uh, the dog will just come into your room, look at you, dead in the eyes. You'll look back. It'll be a really weird moment as you stare into the eyes of your dog, and the dog will just say, writes a bird, and then leave the room. <laughs> the dog New will never say anything again. Mama says New Year's Revolution. <laughs> New Year's Revolution. <laughs> Not Number Revolution? Nine. Number nine? Number God, nine? This kid, kid is a dipshit. <laughs> what? It, you, wait. You you said revolution instead of resolution. Oh yeah, it is resolution. <laughs> you didn't know it was re resolution. Did I you grab the wrong champagne? Have I been drinking out of the wrong champagne bottle? No, it's Welch. It's Welch's. It's fake. It says non-alcoholic. Okay. It is yeah, rosé. 
Uh, you're only allowed to drink alcohol in Texas, child. Wait, what? It's non-alcoholic. No, in Texas, by law, uh, parents can can give their uh, children alcohol. I think almost at any age, as long as it's within the, within the house. Uh, I don't. In Germany, I don't think that's how. I don't think that's how like. That works. But okay. <laughs> they just still have to, like, because legally, they still have to, like, go based off of what the, um, they still have to go based off of what the, uh, uh Constitution says. Well, the Constitution literally, the, the amendment pertaining to abolition was literally basically just says leave it up to the states. Yeah. I'm yeah. So mistaken. literally, uh, okay. state by state thing. There's it's... even a state that says no alcohol. Period. Actually, because they I, didn't I, learn I, their I lesson from thing. prohibition. Yeah. I have a, I have a fun little fact. No. Um. Fuck you. Nice fact. But uh, the reason that oh, most... nice, nice little fact there. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to speak. <laughs> <laughs> but... Okay. So the reason that the legal drinking age in most states is 21 is because uh, the government literally threatened the states that they would cut funding for the states if they didn't uh, heed to uh, the the regulation of 21 being the drinking age. I yeah. had a history teacher. He turned 18. Uh, so this was before the it the turned to 21. He turned 18 the year that that law passed in Florida. Uh, and the reason that Florida caved in is because the government threatened to cut funding on being able to fix the roads and shit. Damn. The funniest part is he had a friend who was like, uh, the so the law passed. And his friend was 17, but would turn, like, right after the law passed, would turn 18. And the person that just turned 18 had to wait till they were 21 while all of, all of their friends were drinking and shit. Because they turned uh, 18 before the law passed and thus could drink. Oh. Get fucked, loser. Should have been born a few years earlier. Or a few months earlier. That's what their penguin's saying. Yeah, that's why I'm going to... Born on the, like, right day, and you would have been able to drink at 18. That's kind of mm -hmm. messed up, but... Also, there's one thing I want to say. This is off topic, but before I go into SCP, I just realized that there could be an SCP that, that could be used as a weapon against that's other a people. Lot of SCPs! Uh, it's the Procrastination Rock. Is it a rock. child, right? It's the Procrastination Rock. Because if you look oh, at it, you will start procrastinating, just like sit on the ground, not doing anything. That's literally what it does to you. <laughs> Wait, isn't okay. that the Have guy I... that sits on the rock okay. and is thinking? Okay, listen. Yes. No. I have a proposal for everyone. That's... Yeah. Everyone, I have a proposal mm. for everyone. Mm -hmm. We invite Kanye West, oh, Donald no. Trump. Putin and Kim Jong Un to all sit in a room, and then we just put that rock in the room and leave them. <laughs> What's funny is nothing this... would change. No, the oh, funny... no, that's the point. They're out of the way. You know, here's the thing: they would actually stare at the rock, saying, "This is a pretty good rock. Why are we here again? Oh, this is a really good rock." <laughs> they would constantly do that. That's what it does. Pro you would probably babble in the corner about something having to do with the Jews and then go, oh, yeah, what a cool rock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's like your it's like your fucking like the racist uncle says the most abhorrent shit and will like look at the family dog and say like it, it's it's like that. But like at least it's a rock. Yeah. And they're and stuck yeah. there permanently. And will yeah, not that's, return. Yeah, that's the point. Like. They, they, like, the idea is make them procrastinate so they're not out here doing bad things. Just we'll sit them in a room. Like, so waging, just... committing hate crimes. Exactly. And going on 
fucking Alex Jones. Fucking Christ. No, because the Can we put him in there too? Oh yeah, let's add Alex oh, yeah, Jones put... as well. Were you talking and, about and also... specifically? Uh yeah, Kanye going on Alex Jones. Yeah, wearing this weird like BDSM outfit. What the fuck? Wasn't even Wait, that. He did? What? Just like, yeah, like he wore like a weird ass mask. It wasn't BDSM, but it was like he was it covering was his actually, face. It was actually uh, some of those items were identified to be used for BDSM. Really? <laughs> yeah, like the hood is specifically one that uh, the face mask is one specifically for BDSM. So were the gloves. So. Oh my god. What the fuck? Anyway, how the dog collar, how the dog leash on the stuffed animal was a BDSM outfit. He was actually wearing actual BDSM out items. Uh, oh dear. Also, uh, the guy <laughs> oh that my. went. Also, the guy that went on uh, Alex Jones with Kanye. We need to also put that motherfucker in there too, because that motherfucker has like. Uh, f- fuck that. Oh, guy. you mean uh. Nick you mean the Nazi? Mm, like, like Nazi. the actual literal one? Yeah. Fair point, yeah. And then fucking Alex if Jones your is with, the table having a conversation with them. With, if you're friends with one, you pretty much are. <laughs> okay, no, wait. The saying, the saying goes, if there's one Yahtzee at the table, but there's ten other people, there are eleven Yahtzees there. No, uh, like having if, a friendly conversation, not like... yeah. Like if it's if there's one Yahtzee at the table, and the and there's ten total people, and the other nine aren't kicking out the Yahtzee, then there's ten Yahtzees at the table. Eyeballs, shoe on head. Mm-hmm. Anyway, are we ready for the next SCP? I fucking hate shoe on head. Yes. All right. Anyway, next SCP. I Will someone pic- get this fat fuck to stop beating me up? No. Anyway, I posted a picture of it and recording live streams VC chat. So yeah. The next SCP is SCP-2047, also known as Collaboration. Oh wait, that's us. What? That's us right now. No, I'm kidding. I'm collaborating with the great Dr. Bright to bring well, you I'm absolute fucking sure nonsense. Well, we don't look like a bunch of planets. Yeah, anyway. I am a circle. I demand the I demand the right to identify as a celestial body. I will not be taking well, no as an answer. Well, you can celestial your body as much as you want, but I'm not a planet. Oh well, yeah, I'm not saying you have to be a celestial body. I'm just saying that I demand to be a celestial body. Anyway. Oh, okay. I've already got the whole having gravity thing down. <laughs> what? Anyway. Do, do things float around you, Hatchet? Sometimes. Anyway. Uh, (laughs) SCP-2047 is a hollow iron sphere with a 40 centimeter diameter uh, covered in language originating from Theta C. These inscriptions describe the process that occurs in Event 2047-A as a warning system for the target planet. The surface of SCP-2047 thus has far proved unnaturally resistant to attempts to open or cut into the cavity inside. Scans of SCP-2047's innards only reveal the basic outline for advanced machinery. Nothing is understood about how SCP-2047 functions or how it is capable in assisting in Event 2047-A other than to relay a radio signal back to Theta C. Event Log 2047-A, 1973. Day 1. Uh, July 13th, 1973. At 101, Earth and an exoplanet designated Theta C undergo an exchange of spatial position. Earth is de- deposited in Theta C's previous solar system, while Theta C takes Earth's spot in the old solar system. The process occurs in... Instantaneously, no contact contact can be established with the Lunar Minerva project. Day 2, June 14th. 
Radio transmission is relayed through SCB-2047 at 132.57. Via a spatial anomaly in multi-locational existence, radio transmissions are initially audible and are initiated in an unknown language. Over the next 20, 12 hours, language converts into increasingly fluent English until full communications between Earth and Theta C are established. Dana C's interstellar exchange program is first described. The Foundation requests a reversal of event 2047-A. Theta C responds with denial. Day 113, November 1st. Knowledge of event 2047-A eventually spreads over the first two weeks. The Foundation has no visible method of hiding the knowledge of the cosmic shift. Religious institutions experience a peak in attendance and some reform their values to accommodate for this event, while others dissipate entirely. No knowledge of the existence of other sentient life reaches the public, as news of the loss of Minerva Project reaches the public. However, general anxiety increases. Foreign relations between major powers have become strained as the United States, Soviet Union, and China enter a space race to explore a new solar system. The Middle East experiences a non-violent wave of protests and demonstrations in response to an upheaval of the known world and unrest within their civil governments. Containment efforts by the Foundation are beginning to become problematic due to the Foundation's use of resources are con on continued efforts to prevent societal collapse. Requests to Theta C for assistance are denied. Day 286, April 23, 1974. Containment of keter level SCP objects grow increasingly difficult in strains of a majority of Foundation resources. Hostilities between nations increases as they become increasingly suspicious of one another. The United Nations becomes a strange force, not very effective in mitigating the deterioration of relations. Southeast Southeast Asia experiences a systematic political repression as China falls behind in the space race, followed by religious accusations in response to the increased volume, volume of religious activity. Requests that they to see for assistance following a presentation of the detriments to the human race is approved. Day 339, June 17th. A collaboration between Theta C and Earth is initiated in order to attempt to reverse the detriments of event 2047-A. Theta C announces to the Foundation that reversal of the entire process is impossible, but suggests that a localized reality reset may be viable. Using the combination of SP-2047 and Theta C's technology, a CK class reality restructuring scenario is created and includes a mass change to astronomical data, records, and memories revolving around the field of astronomy. This restructuring also resets the date on Earth to July 13, 1973. Foundation staff at Site 88 maintain full records relating to Earth's previous location and are excluded from the reality restructuring in order to facilitate the further suppression of knowledge. After a full debriefing of top person Foundation personnel, the residents of Theta C are informed that further collaboration with the Foundation would not be continued due to an unacceptable risk of societal collapse stemming from uncertainty relating to previous events. Post Reset Day 146, December 5th, 1973. Apollo 18 space mission to Earth's new natural satellite is launched, including on board our the personnel and materials required to produce replicas that match the vehicles left behind by Apollo 11 through 17, as well as establish a temporary lunar settlement to, to begin re-establishment re of the Foundation's lunar sites. Post Reset Day 156, December 15th. Foundation Lunar Site 190 begins construction with resupply loads arriving on a weekly schedule. Post reset day 1517, June 5th, 1977. 
Voyager 1 mission launches in order to better ascertain the details of the solar system that Earth now resides in. Mineral data was relayed from Theta C after the exchange, but further investigation is warranted as necessary. Okay, before we decide how dangerous SCP is, wasn't Apollo 18 destroyed, or was I thinking of another Apollo thing? Wait, that is the one. I Oh, uh, was the one I was destroyed? Because that was what I was thinking. Okay. I believe so. Okay. Yeah. I mean, be correct. <laughs> I am almost just putting a, <laughs> a little emoji. <laughs> That's their own reaction to this SCP. Uh, so, world ending, right? No. No. This. From the sounds of it, it's already come and gone. They basically, before this date, the solar system was completely different. We got translocated into our current solar system, and a whole bunch of restructuring had to occur globally around said thing. Okay. Oh, Hatchet, you and me were wrong. Momo said you were thinking of Apollo 13. Oh, I'm thinking of Apollo 13. Well, poop. Also, Thanks, we, got, we got trans? What? What? We got transed? We got... On that date? No. Just translocated? Translocated. We switched places, that's what happened. Yeah, I know, I know what, I know what it means. Do we, do we need to, do we need to have a discussion about the fact that the, the suffixes trans and cis are used all over the place in the English language? I know, I know that. I know, I know. Wait, I look at, I'm looking at the picture for Theta C. But, oh yeah, I mean, Theta C is in our universe, while we're in, in Sol. In Sol, there's no Mars. <laughs> uh, yeah, fair. So, <laughs> so where's I Elon Musk going to go to? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. What that's talking about is, like, Theta C is where we are now oh okay okay bright bright you know where elon musk is gonna go you know you wanna know hell hell <laughs> i said it before you did huh bitch Cause, yeah because i already told the joke you motherfucker you dumb bitch i was too good a place for elon the anyway. thing is i don't want to be in there with him <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying Elon's not allowed in hell because you want it to be a pleasant experience? Yes. Okay, that's valid. Unless I get it. <laughs> hey, this is a good question. My question is, how the fuck did the SP keep this shit hidden? That's a good question, actually, thinking about it. it. Uh, shit tons of amnestics, I guess. Yeah. Plus, it like, they mentioned, like, like that... yeah. plus they mentioned, like, a temporary, uh, reality shift. CK, so what they might... yeah. Yeah, so what they might have done is use that to basically restructure things, so it's seamless. <laughs> Mo says, several hundreds of years of astro astronomical development, Britain register... Background, cultural impact, and beyond, even constellations just gone. No fucking way. <laughs> what I think is what the SCB Foundation did was rewrite history completely. Yeah. Actually, if you if you heard that thing you read, yeah. they said they weren't able to hide it. Oh yeah, that's right. At first, they weren't able to hide it, and then they yeah, and then the yeah, and then the uh. Theta C guys mentioned uh, a temporary reality restructuring in this area that happened afterwards. So I think they used that to rework history and people's memory. Okay, that would make sense. That said, the danger of this is literally null because it's already happened. Uh, Spoot here? 
Yeah, I, I love how it said, like, as soon as it happened, a bunch of people went to churches. <laughs> like, religious places. <laughs> like, once I mean... it happened. And it makes sense. So, at first we didn't have Mars, but now we have Mars. <laughs> yeah. 